Last year, Russell Okun from the NFL converted half of his salary into Bitcoin. Some people called him crazy. Some people called him genius. It's a year later. Let's see where he's at now. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Akeem Shannon, founder and creator of Flipstick. Welcome to our channel where we talk about business, entrepreneurship, and today, Bitcoin. Uh, we're gonna be talking about an NFL player and his very smart idea to convert half his salary into Bitcoin just about a year ago. Uh, if you're interested in cool business topics, feel free to follow our page. If you're coming back, thanks for following us. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and we look forward to continuing to have you along with us on this journey. So uh, today I want to revisit an article I remember from about a year ago, an update on it, about Russell Okun, who had converted half his salary into Bitcoin. So I remember at the time, a lot of people were clowning him. They were like, this dude is dumb, what is he doing? Bitcoin's so volatile. And uh, I kind of dug into the numbers here. And let me just tell you what, what happened, okay? So he uh, has a salary of $13 million. Don't we all wish we were there? And basically he had half of it converted into Bitcoin. So that was right around $6.5 million or 250 Bitcoins at the time. At the time, Bitcoin was worth right around $27,000 per coin. Fast forward to today and Bitcoin, as of when we're filming this, is worth around $61,000 per coin which means that his six and a half million dollars in cash is worth 14.64 million dollars today. That means that it took his 13 million dollar salary and over doubled it, like from him investing half of it in Bitcoin. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, or nearly doubled it, so just crazy. It actually pushes him into the top 30 highest NFL players in the country from that from that decision. So, you know, I think that this is great. I think he made a great move. Uh, it seemed to be the right one. Uh, but I also have thoughts about Bitcoin in general. Uh, so for those of you who like don't really understand Bitcoin, I'll give you a layman's version of it as I understand it. I'll probably butcher it and have somebody telling me that I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm talking about. But essentially, uh, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency that is based off a ledger system. So you can imagine if you, if, if every one of our dollar bills, you wrote the name of every person that had that dollar, that is essentially how Bitcoin works and how it tracks. So when you have a fraction of a Bitcoin, it has your name in the form of an address, like your Bitcoin wallet address, and it pretty much tracks. Okay, you gave it, to Susie, Susie gave it to John, John gave half of it to Megan, and it just tracks us all the way down the line forever. So what's cool about that is it's very secure. You know who has what money, it's a lot more difficult to launder things because you can track where it's at. It's still anonymous because it's just a string of letters and, co and numbers it's, instead of like your name, but it's just a great way to be able to track things. You don't need accounting because it's automatically built into the system. Right. And the way that Bitcoin is created is people mine it. So essentially what that means is that someone has a computer nowadays, a very powerful computer that crunches lots of different math equations to create a coin, essentially. And depending on how much your computer crunches, those numbers depends on how much of that coin you get. But there's a finite amount of these. And whenever you have a scarce resource, it becomes valuable. The less of something there is, the more valuable it becomes. And over time, it's become more and more difficult to create new Bitcoins, which means the value continues to go up. And there is a finite amount of Bitcoins that will ever be produced as well too, which leads to even more scarcity, which leads to higher valuations. So on its face, it's a smart, it's a smart system, right? It lets you track money very easily. It lets you transfer money to people with very little resources, which lowers transaction costs and their scarcity, like all the things you need to have a great currency. And as you can see, the value has skyrocketed over the last less than a year. And if you invested last year, you made a lot of money. 
Uh, it was a great bet to be made. But I think for me, when I reflect on something like this, you know, I think about the fact that Elon Musk just did, you know, one and a half billion dollars in Bitcoin for Tesla. Uh, Square, the company I used to work for, had the first they bought like a hundred million and they just bought like a few hundred more million dollars worth of Bitcoin uh, for the cash app. And, you know, I think that all these investments right now and for the foreseeable future, they make sense. But I do think there's a limit to, you know, Bitcoin's not just popularity, but its ability to be the uh, currency of choice. So for me, where everything stops is with a like, country level acceptance of Bitcoin. So when you think about like the U.S. dollar or the Chinese yen or the euro, why if, you know, if Bitcoin is such a great you know, invention and product, why wouldn't all these countries switch to this currency? Like it it works better, it's trackable, it's digital, it's great, right? Well, the reason is because countries like to have monetary policies. And what that means for layman's terms is countries like to make money, not earn money. They like to make, like literally print and create money out of thin air. It's called monetary policy and it's something that the U.S. does a lot. You know, we've been in COVID, and we've had a lot of uh, aid packages that have come out, trillions of dollars. That's because our government can create new money out of nowhere. That's how they're able to give you this money quick. They don't have the money in the bank account. They're creating money and they issue bonds to other countries to say, hey, you know, we're going to borrow this money from you that we're creating in order to give it to people to fend off the effects of this recession. And we do this kind of stuff all the time. That's why you have something called inflation. And while Bitcoin prevents inflation because it's limited on how much can be created, countries love inflation because they can just print money over and over again to fund all kinds of stuff. And I don't see a world where countries and states give up the ability to create money. So as much as I think right now this is a great idea for you to convert your money into Bitcoin, you know, I don't know if there's going to ever be a world where every transaction that we can make is going to be available for us to make in Bitcoin across borders. What I do think will happen, and I think that the underlying technology of Bitcoin will be incorporated into all of the traditional banks that exist today. So it's so much, it makes so much more sense for a Bank of America or Merrill Lynch or any international bank to say, hey, we're going to store everybody's money in what they call stable coins. It's basically a coin that a bank makes for tracking currency within their own closed ecosystem. If stuff like that, absolutely. I think it'll be huge and I think it'll cut down on the amount of fees we have to pay, wire transfer fees, checking fees, all the fees that we have to pay because everything's so old and antiquated. Those will go away because of cryptocurrencies. But Bitcoin being the future of all payments, I don't see it happening, guys. I don't see it happening. But that doesn't mean it's not a good idea to invest. Because everything has its time and everything has its season. And uh, I think right now, it makes a smart investment. Short term, the next 10 years, great investment. And maybe it'll always be a great investment. But I don't think it'll be the currency that we use to spend on everything. So that's my uh, reaction to uh, this awesome article about a genius NFL player for converting half of his salary into Bitcoin. Uh, If you enjoyed this, uh, let me know. Uh, We like doing these like reaction uh, style videos where we talk about articles or things I've read. So if you like them too, let me know. And if you love the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to our channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.